What's going on, everybody? Juice Bags here, and welcome back to some Subnautica. Now, it's been, uh, what, I think maybe even a week since my last episode, and I have been doing a little work here, as I have done some farming, and uh, started to get my sub a little tricked out and ready to go for its journey over, as it's time to really kind of expand out what I want my main base to be, and get kind of a little better picture of what I want it to look like. Now, uh, first things first, I think we want to load up. Let's load up the sea moth here. Oops. Get that in the sub. That way uh, we're all good to go. Where'd it go? There it is. That way it's all ready to go. You know, if we want to do any further exploring from over there. And we are good to go here. Now, um, when I say I tricked out the sub a little bit, I didn't I didn't get any of the death compensators, you know, any of the fun stuff made quite yet. But I did just add storage to it. I added uh, a nice bunch of storage. I farmed up a shitload of titanium. And I'm ready to go and ready to start doing some more building. My uh, storage is a little wonky. You see, like I put a gold chest there and a gold chest there. <laughs> I think I've only actually got gold in one of them. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. Then I put lead here and lead over here. I don't know, apparently I was a little sleepy when I uh, slapped these things in. But anyway, and then I put some of the hot commodities in just these small lockers, which are unnamed. I'm not even sure, can you change the name? No, it doesn't look like you can change the name of them. Like I got my stalker teeth there. Uh, nothing in that one. But I got my aluminum oxide there. In fact, I can dump that one off. And I just threw in a dump chest here to just throw things into. And I want to do that right now, in fact. Let's see, let's free up just a little bit, a little bit of space here. See, this copper wire can go here. Uh, I think the quartz locker is actually full. Hmm, I can just throw that stuff in this dump chest here. See, we got some quartz and glass and a little bit of titanium. I want to free up a bunch of space. As since I am heading over, I want to take some things with me. You know, first off, I want to get uh, some of that blood kelp growing. You know, I want to get some food growing over there. And I want to, you know, get some of the basic essentials going. So let's see. Let me at least just grab one or two of these Chinese potatoes. Can I fit two? Yeah, I can. And then that's gonna, I've got some of the regular uh, kelp going over there and that's really lighting the place up, which is kind of nice. But I want to have plenty of the blood kelp available as I am gonna be using more of it soon. Let me grab a couple of these blood oils too. I can actually fit another one. There we go. All right, and let's get headed that way. What? We got a fish uh, swimming through base. How odd. Double check my oxygen there, make sure that uh, I don't have any shenanigans going on. All right, now let's get on over there. Gonna take a minute, of course, to get the sub all the way over there. I wish, uh, I wish the sub was a little bit faster. Like, I wish you could enter, if like you got clear sailing, I wish you could enter a uh, like a speed mode or something and just really get to it. Internal lighting is good. Yeah. Anyway, let's just let's just head that way here. And let's see. I can't remember. There it is over that way. Now I think I've got a mainly clear shot. I might have a couple of instances where I gotta dodge and weave a little bit to get around stuff, but I think the depth is gonna be good headed all the way over. And it's actually not really that far. Of course, I picked that ledge that starts up really, really at uh, not very deep and then goes all the way down into the Grand Reef. And, and I don't know how far I'm gonna be able to stretch this base down and keep it stable, but I'm really, really hoping that I'm going to be able to stretch it down pretty far. So we're going to take a look at that here now. 
As soon as we get over there, of course. I mean, it's not like creeping slow or anything, but I just wish there was like a turbo mode. Because, <laughs> you know, I've got pretty smooth sailing all the way across, I believe. So I wish I could just go zoom and be there. I'm very excited. You know, I did read through the PDAs and follow through the story uh, the first time I played through, but I am really excited for the story mode to actually be added to this game. It is going to be awesome, that's for sure. And in fact, there may even end up being a, uh, a hardcore playthrough on my channel of this game before before that happens. I'm still a little scared on the hard, hardcore department. And even at 300... You know, 290 meters away, you can see that kelp just glowing over there at my base. That stuff is so awesome. I mean, it lights the area up, there's no doubt. I mean, it's pretty clear that that's where my base is. <laughs> so badass. Let's keep heading that way. Just about there. I want to get that blood kelp in the ground right away. Let's see, where do we want to park? Guess it doesn't even really matter. Getting a little close, a little close. We'll go ahead and just leave it right there. I'm sure that will be fine. And let's head on down and get this bad boy all checked out. I'm just going to leave uh, leave the Seamoth in there for now. Anyway, I want to get this stuff growing, so I'm going to go ahead and pop it in right away. Just pop all three of them right there. And let's head on Welcome in and take a look captain. at what we got here. Now, all right, what? Let's see, I want to get those planters down, but I need... I left all the titanium up here. I dumped everything in that little dump chest. Let's see. See, I know I needed, or I wanted that quartz glass. Let's see, there's the titanium. I think that actually got about most of it. Let me grab uh, a couple of copper wires. I think that will get me started. A few things I wanted to do right off. We got that blood kelp in. I need uh, a planner, and let's get these. Hmm. I'm going to end up moving all this stuff because I'm not really certain. Let's see, interior modules. Let's see. Let's go with uh, let's go with the plant pot one here. Or do I want to just let me just pop them both down right there? Like I said, I'm going to end up moving them. This is definitely not where I want them in the future, but I'm just unsure as to exactly where I do want them. So let's get these guys growing here. That should take care of that. And then you see also I added, oh, you just can't read it worth a crap right now. Or there it goes, it focused in. The uh, I, I played around a little bit with the, sh the screenshots folder and I got a map in game here now which is kind of cool so I put it on the wall right here obviously it's a little hard to read uh, I can read it on my screen while I'm playing but I imagine in the video it's gonna be really difficult to read much of it but uh, anyway of course I can access that map see where is it data bank photo album there we go I can access that map right here which is kinda cool but anyway I wanted to go ahead and give myself a little shameless plug as I didn't know, I know I wanted to put some kind of juicy related picture over here. I wasn't sure what it was. And I figured, you know, hey, what what better than my, my uh, stream schedule? That way I can't ever forget, you know, it's hanging right there on the wall. So let's uh, get my stream schedule in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so cool. I, I love that you can put whatever you want in these picture frames. That's just just plain awesome. Now, all right, let's get out here. Now, first off, what are we going to need to start going downward? Now, you see, I did put, uh, see, vertical connector. We need a shitload of titanium. I did put, I'm not sure if I put this on last episode or not. Let me go ahead and go on out. But I connected up 
a uh, a vertical connector going down as of course that's where I want to do is go down well, let me just go ahead and hop in the sea moth and I'll cruise down there I don't I don't feel comfortable just uh, swimming around out in the open so let's hop in the sea moth and we'll cruise down there and I'll kind of give you a, a general idea of what I have pictured for uh, the base here and like I said I don't know if it's gonna work I'll actually know this episode if it's gonna work or not and figure out what I need to do but you see I went on to put that vertical connector going down now if we look down things get real cool right down here on this ledge as I think something coming off of this ledge with an observatory shooting off this way is close enough to the glowy balls down here to really have uh, quite the show so that's actually what I kind of want to try right now. And like I said, I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep the base uh, reinforced enough. Because I know those connectors really uh, take a toll uh, on the on the base, the structure's uh, fortitude or whatever. Alright, so let's, uh, let's load up on titanium and see how far down we can go out here. Like I said, I'm not positive how far it's going to let us uh, without causing just massive damage. Some kind of structural damage to the base. But let's check it out. See, let's add... See, we'll add another one right there. And you see, each time it's lowering the hull strength down a half a point. Man, the music's just constantly got to go sketchy on me, doesn't it? That's the crappy part about being out here in the open. <laughs> now, I'm going to have all kinds of stuff branching off this eventually, but I just kind of wanted to get the basic picture of what I wanted what I wanted the base to look like. Let's see, let's go. <laughs> Man, that is just such a long way down. Maybe I should make a... Uh, some kind of a middle stopping point, perhaps. God damn you, scary music. <laughs> I just know there's a baddie out there somewhere waiting to get me, and I'm all naked swimming around, unprotected. <laughs> Alright, so I'm out of titanium. Let's uh, head back up again here. Welcome up all Load up Captain. again. All systems online. I didn't uh, do a very good job freeing up any space here prior, huh? That's all right. It is just—it's such a ridiculous way, long way down too. It's going to be uh, quite, quite the mess of connectors. Now, like I said, eventually I want to go all the way down and off of that platform. I don't know how realistic that's going to be in one shot straight down, though. It's just such a long way. Let's see. Just keep on going. It's probably going to take, like, I don't know, what, 15, 20 of them to get all the way down there? All right, we're actually getting closer now. Let's go with a couple more. Just kills your... Absolutely kills your hull strength. We're definitely getting close to this ledge. Definitely going to be... Uh, going to have to add massive reinforcements and all kinds of stuff. Okay, let's see where we're at now. We're actually really close. I think maybe like three or four of those, more of those pieces. And we'll be pretty good. I mean, for a start anyway. Running back for more titanium. Once I get my storage set up, uh, right there inside the base, this won't be such, such an issue. But I'm just not quite there yet. Alright, so we're looking good here. 
can probably get down far enough off of what I have here to add an actual connector piece in and see if uh, see how well it's going to work with a ladder in it. Now that's the other cool thing is if you put one ladder in, <laughs> one ladder gets you gets you all the way down. God, I just don't like the sketchiness here, just swimming around out in the open. See, it's still going to be need a few more to be able to actually rest on that piece. Scurry music, scurry music. Down to twenty four point seven. That's actually, that actually looks pretty good right there. That may be a little bit too high even. Hmm. Let me see, let me get rid of this bottom one. What's up with the music, damn you? And let's see, try to get some, I'll try to get a foundation or something set here and then put something on top of it and see how that works out. Let's see, where are we? We're right there. Come on. Hmm, it doesn't want me to get it all the way down on that ledge, but... Hmm, let's see. I think something like that maybe is good as I'm gonna get see what that looks like underneath. Eh, that looks cool. Yeah, I definitely uh, went down a little bit too far on those, so I can actually get rid of one more connector, I think. And then, let's see. How do we want to branch off of this? I think I better get myself uh, a little oxygen. I'll bring the sea moth down here, that way I don't have to keep swimming all the way back and forth. And I might as well load up on titanium again while I'm here as well. Yeah, I got some empty spots here. That will work. Drink some PP water. And yeah, let's just take the sea moth down there. Now, I also, I thought about maybe branching off of the sides, you know, having various tiers going down, which I think would be pretty cool, too. Let's see. So, we'll just leave the seam off right there. And maybe another, let's throw another one right next to it. I don't know. I don't think I want another one right here. But what I do want right here is a multi-purpose room. Let's see where I can get one. Right about there. And let's see. How is that going to line up? I don't think that's going to line up very good, is it? It doesn't look like it. It would be nice if I could move that multi-purpose room over just a little bit. See if I can make that happen. Let's see, let's put this bad boy as far over this way as I can. You know, I just can't, I'm actually gonna have to move those platforms over. Or the foundations is what the problem is. Let's try that. Let's move the foundation over to there. And then we'll get rid of this one as well and move it over. There we go. And now let's see. See, now it would actually require being dead centered and that's not going to really work either. Hmm. I may have to put the foundations in after the fact. Let's just look for right now. See, and I think I want a T there. Or an X, not a T. Let's put that there for right now. 
and just see how how it connects up with the ladder and then I can I can figure out exactly what I'm gonna do from there as we come to it it's gonna be cool it's gonna take a bunch of work but it's gonna be cool let's see what do I need for the ladder let's see if I've got uh, I think I do actually have this all the stuff I need so that shouldn't be an issue that blood kelp is uh, getting getting after the growing already. So let's see. I should be able to put a ladder going down right out of this. Yep, there we go. And then that should take us all the way down. Yep, just in one swoop. So that's awesome. We're all the way down to the ground. And then one more. So that's exactly, that's exactly a 100 meter drop. Is that right? Or no, that's a 70 meter drop, so not too shabby. It's a, a little, nice little depth drop there, but I actually plan eventually on going in down deeper than that as well. But let's get back down there and get, uh, let's get a room put on. How are we doing on titanium? Actually getting a little bit low again. Let's get down here and get uh, like a multi-purpose room or something added on and then see see how that matches up. It's actually at a kind of a funny angle even. Let's see. It should let us put... Ugh, I'm one titanium short. Damn it. Oops, let me just go ahead and smash up the smash up the building here. Destroying the structure. Good gosh, what the heck? Alright, come on. I should have loaded up on titanium when I was here. I will do some of this uh, offline again. That way you guys don't have to sit here and watch me swim back and forth over and over again continually. I should have just parked the sub down there is what I should have done. Let's see, there's some more titanium. I'm going to want to come back for glass here in a minute. And then I'm also going to need to not waste a whole lot of time with the reinforcements as well. Going to need to get the reinforcements going in there. And I need to keep an eye on my hunger level here. I'm down to 34%. Shouldn't be an issue quite yet. Let's see. All right, let's get to... We want to connect that multi-purpose room directly. Let's just do it. Right there, connect it directly to it. The platforms are a little misaligned. I'll probably end up removing them and lining them up, squaring them away a little bit uh, better offline. Oh yeah, the platform's actually going halfway through the through the building, so that's not definitely not good. Let's get rid of these platforms. The foundations. I don't know why I keep calling them platforms. Inventory is full. Okay. That's a good problem to have right now. See, and I actually don't think I have any quartz for a hatch or glass. Yeah, I do. I want to throw a hatch here just temporarily. Yeah. Got to get rid of the foundation. I can't have the foundation sticking into the building like that. That's definitely not going to work. All right, so let's take a look. We should be able to add it under it, right? Maybe not. It lets you add it on top of it, I know. But apparently you can't add it under it. It's all right. We can uh, put some next to it. Basically, one of the purposes, too, of um, having that foundation here, besides just getting the additional structure, is I wanted to have some more light. Now, how weird. It doesn't want me to put one down anywhere here. Huh, way out here, it's going going green on me. I'll have to decide where exactly I want to put these things. Because I want to have different tiers of them, too. And kind of light up the entire, uh, you know, the entire path down. I think that will be just really, really cool. 
Can I not add anything just down here off to the side? I want to have some uh, way to put a planter down right here, but I want it to look nice. Let's see. Let's add that one in. There we go. The legs went down, so it's connected. It's not right there where I'd like it to be. In fact, I'm going to end up moving that, I'm sure. I may end up lowering this multi-purpose room down just a touch. Let me... Let's see. And then I'm going to need to throw in some windows. So I need to bring a bunch of glass down. You guys get the general picture of what I'm looking for here. Kind of cool, though. <laughs> like the press of a button, the super elevator, and we're all the way down below. So uh, that's a little nice little start to my base here. Like I said, I'm going to work on it a little bit uh, offline and try to figure out how to get it uh, semi-symmetrical and looking all tasty. But uh, that is kind of the start of it. So you guys can picture where I'm going here. Uh, I want to have another one shooting down all the way down here to the bottom eventually. But uh, I'm going to have to work on that. That's uh, you know going to take me a while to build it out and get it down to that point. So uh, anyway, that is another look at building the super base. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, click that like button and please subscribe to the channel. Uh, going to be a lot more Subnautica coming this week as uh, it's perfect to take my mind off of the pending update for Dungeon Defenders 2 so I can just quit worrying about it so damn much. Anyway, thanks again. We'll see ya.